We are in perhaps the cutest, most colorful yes. section of the library. I have spent so much time knowing that I have children who are 8 and 13 mm -hmm. now in these kinds of areas. They're my favorite. Thank you so much, Christy Doherty, for being with us this morning to talk about your specialty at this library. Thank you. I also have a first grader as well, so yes. I am immersed in this world <laughs> <laughs> here and at home. But this is a topic I think a lot of parents, no matter what the age is, are curious about. Yeah. Making sure that you take advantage of the resources at the library that can lead to future success. So you're here to talk about so many different things because that's what the library is all about, correct? Correct, yes. We start from when you're babies mm -hmm. all the way to lifelong learning, to mm -hmm. retirement age, etc. Even beyond that. So we have some resources not just for children but for the parents and for the educators right. as well. So let's start with those little ones. What do you have available that, you know, if there's a parent who has mm -hmm. like a preschooler, kindergartner, where should they start? I would recommend our picture books mm -hmm. section. So some of these over here, like CC Loves Science, Do Not Let Your Dragons Spread Germs, mm -hmm. especially for those concepts, because picture books can really explain, you know, a haircut, going to school, sure. things like that. Next would be the readers for our emergent readers mm -hmm. with phonics and with sight words as well. You have something you showed us that was really interesting. What is yeah. this? We Vox also do books? have our Vox books. There's a switch on the side of the book that you can turn on, and what it does is it reads the book to you. We actually have books, um, not just in English, but in English and and Spanish. And so it reads the book so the child can read along and then it gives you a sound cue in order to turn the page so it practices turning the page as well. Uh, you have Christy, so many, oh, go ahead. oh yeah, no, let's talk about story in a bag. Yes. I really loved that. So story time in a bag is especially for early childhood providers but not just for educators but for mom groups, for parenting groups as well. So inside this bag there's 16 copies of a board book, those sturdy books for those little hands that are getting stronger every day. And there's one copy for the facilitator to read and then each child gets their own copy of the book. We actually have brand new titles for Storytime in a Bag and we have over 40 titles now that you can check out. You can order them to your closest library. You get them for three weeks. Thankfully we are fine free so you don't have to worry about trying to get them back on time and we automatically renew it for you and it's been a great resource. We use these in our story times yes. and we felt that we should share that with our educator friends as well. And really the best thing is to ask the folks at the library if you have any questions about the resources yep. available, where can they find you, the children's section? You can find me in the kids space. You can also go on our website, buffalolib.org and we also have lots of free programs as well, everything <gasps> from story times to spooky library party. We definitely want yes. to talk about free yeah. programs because like you said, it runs the gamut for all ages yep. and one of the places we want to talk about in just a bit is the maker space. Yes. Well, we're going to take a quick break.